सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एन टाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज द लेसन सिक्स फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस फ्रॉम पेज फिफ्टी एट टू पेज सिक्सटी सेवन लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन सिक्स फिजिकल and chemical changes page 58 every day you come across many changes in your surroundings these changes may involve one or more substances for example your mother may ask you to dissolve sugar in water to make a cold drink making a sugar solution is a change Similarly setting curd from milk is a change sometimes milk becomes sour souring of milk is a change stretched rubber band also represents a change make a list of 10 changes you have noticed around you in this chapter we shall perform some activities and study the nature of these changes broadly these changes are of two kinds physical and chemical 6.1 physical changes activity 6.1 cut a piece of paper in four square pieces cut each square piece further into four square pieces Lay these pieces on the floor or a table so that the pieces acquire the shape of the original piece of paper. You can observe this in figure 6.1. Figure 6.1 paper pieces. In this picture a piece of square paper has been divided into four equal parts. Then one of these four parts has been further divided into four equal parts obviously you cannot join the pieces back to make the original piece but is there a change in the property of the paper activity 6.2 collect the chalk dust lying on the floor near the chalk board in your classroom or crush a small piece of chalk into dust add a little water in the dust to make a paste roll it into the shape of a piece of chalk let it dry did you recover chalk from the dust activity 6.3 take some ice in a glass or plastic tumbler melt a small portion of ice by placing the tumbler in the sun you have now a mixture of ice and water now place the tumbler in a freezing mixture that of ice plus common salt does the water become solid ice once again page 59 activity 6.4 boil some water in a container Do you see the steam rising from the surface of water? Hold an inverted pan by its handle over the steam at some distance from the boiling water. Observe the inner surface of the pan. Do you see any droplet of water there? Activity 6.5. Caution: Be careful while handling a flame. hold a used hacksaw blade with a pair of tongs keep the tip of the free end of the blade on the gas stove wait for a few minutes does the color of the tip of the blade change remove the blade from the flame observe the tip once again after some time does it get back its original color In activity six point one and six point two, 
you saw that paper and a piece of chalk underwent changes in size. In activities 6.3 and 6.4, water changed its state from solid to liquid or from gas to liquid. In activity 6.5, the hacksaw blade changed color on heating. Properties such as shape, size, color and state of substance are called physical properties. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical properties is called a physical change. A physical change is generally reversible. In such a change, no new substance is formed. Let us now consider the other kind of change. 6.2 Chemical Change A change with which you are quite familiar is the rusting of iron. If you leave a piece of iron in the open for some time, it acquires a film of brownish substance. This substance is called rust and the process is called rusting. You can observe this in figure 6.2. Iron gates of parks or farmlands, iron benches kept in lawns and gardens, almost every article of iron kept in the open gets rusted. At home, you must have seen shovels and spades getting rusted when exposed to the atmosphere for some time. Figure 6.2 In this figure, we have lots of old items made of iron. When we observe closely, we realize many of them have rusted. Page 60 In the kitchen, a wet iron pan or tawa often gets rusted if left in that state for some time. Rust is not iron. It is different from iron on which it gets deposited. Let us consider a few more changes where new substances are formed. Activity 6.6 .6, To be demonstrated by the teacher Caution! It is dangerous to look for long at the burning magnesium ribbon. The teachers should advise children not to stare at the burning ribbon. Get a small piece of a thin strip or ribbon of magnesium. Clean its tip with sandpaper. Bring the tip near a candle flame. It burns with a brilliant white light. You can observe this in figure 6.3. When it is completely burnt, it leaves behind a powdery ash. Figure 6.3 Magnesium Ribbon Burning Does the ash look like the magnesium ribbon? The change can be represented by the following equation. Magnesium or Mg plus oxygen which is O2 gives Magnesium Oxide, which is MgO. The equations here are different from those in mathematics. In equations of this kind, the arrow implies becomes. No attempt should be made to balance chemical equations at this stage. Collect the ash and mix it with a small amount of water. Stir the mixture of this aqueous solution well. Test the mixture with blue and red litmus papers. Does the mixture turn red litmus blue? Does the mixture turn blue litmus red? On the basis of this test, how do you classify the aqueous solution? Acidic or basic? On dissolving the ash in water, it forms a new substance. This change can be written in the form of the following equation. Magnesium oxide, which is MgO, plus water, which is H2O, becomes magnesium hydroxide, 
which is MgOH2. As you have already learnt in Chapter 5, magnesium hydroxide is a base. So, magnesium oxide is a new substance formed on burning of magnesium. Page 61 Magnesium hydroxide is another new substance formed by mixing magnesium oxide with water. Activity 6.7 To be demonstrated by the teacher. Dissolve about a teaspoonful of copper sulfate or blue vitriol or nila thotha in about half a cup of water in a glass tumbler or a beaker. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to the solution. You should get a blue colored solution. Save the small sample of the solution in a test tube or a small glass bottle. Drop a nail or a used shaving blade into the remaining solution. Wait for half an hour or so. Observe the color of the solution. Compare it with the color of the sample solution saved separately. Figure 6.4 Change in color of the copper sulfate solution due to reaction with iron. In this picture, we have two beakers. The first beaker has copper sulfate of blue color. The second beaker has iron sulfate greenish in color. A used shaving blade is at the bottom of this beaker. Do you see any change in the color of the solution? Take out the nail or the blade. Has it changed in any way? The changes that you notice are due to reaction between copper sulfate and iron. The change of color of the solution from blue to green is due to the formation of iron sulfate, a new substance. The brown deposit on the iron nail is copper, another new substance. We can write the reaction as copper sulfate solution which is blue plus iron becomes iron sulfate solution which is green plus copper or brown deposit. Activity 6.8 Take about a teaspoonful of vinegar in a test tube. Add a pinch of baking soda to it. You would hear a hissing sound and see bubbles of a gas coming out. Pass this gas through freshly prepared lime water as shown in figure 6.5. What happens to the lime water? The change in the test tube is as follows. Vinegar, which is acetic acid, plus baking soda, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate, becomes carbon dioxide plus other substances. The reaction between carbon dioxide and lime water is as follows. Page 62 Figure 6.5 Set up to pass gas through lime water. In this figure, we have two test tubes. The first test tube is filled with vinegar plus baking soda. The second test tube is filled with lime water. Carbon dioxide is being passed into the test tube with lime water. Carbon dioxide, which is CO2, plus lime water, which is CaOH2, becomes calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3, plus water, which is H2O. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, calcium carbonate is formed, which makes lime water milky. The turning of lime water into milky is a standard test of carbon dioxide. You will use it in chapter 10 to show that the air we breathe out is rich in carbon dioxide. 
in activity 6.6 to 6.8, you saw that in each change, one or more new substances were formed. In activity 6.6, .6, the ash was the new substance formed when magnesium was burned in air. In activity 6.7, .7, the reaction of copper sulfate with iron produced iron sulfate and copper. Both of these are new substances. Copper was deposited on the shaving blade of iron. In activity 6.8, vinegar and baking soda together produced carbon dioxide, which turned lime water milky. Can you name the new substance formed in this reaction? A change in which one or more new substances are formed is called a chemical change. A chemical change is also called a chemical reaction. Chemical changes are very important in our lives. All new substances are formed as a result of chemical changes. For example, digestion of food in our body, ripening of fruits, fermentation of grapes, etc. happen due to series of chemical changes. A medicine is the end product of a chain of chemical reactions. Useful new materials such as plastics and detergents are produced by chemical reactions. Indeed, every new material is discovered by studying chemical changes. We have seen that one or more new substances are produced in a chemical change. In addition to new products, the following may accompany a chemical change. 1. Heat, light or any other radiation. Ultraviolet, for example, may be given off or absorbed. 2. Sound may be produced. 3. A change in smell may take place or a new smell may be given off. 4. A color change may take place. 5. A gas may be formed. Let us look at some examples. You saw that burning of magnesium ribbon is a chemical change. Burning of coal, wood or leaves is also a chemical change. In fact, burning of any substance is a chemical change. Burning is always accompanied by a production of heat. Page 63 Explosion of a firework is a chemical change. You know that such an explosion produces heat, light, sound and unpleasant gases that pollute the atmosphere. That is why you are advised not to play with fireworks. When food gets spoiled, it produces a foul smell. Shall we call this change a chemical change? You must have noticed that a slice of an apple acquires a brown color if it is not consumed immediately. If you have not seen this change in color, cut a fresh slice of apple and keep it away for some time. Repeat the same activity with the slice of potato or brinjal. The change of color in these cases is due to the formation of new substances. Are not these changes chemical changes? In chapter 5, you neutralized an acid with a base. Is neutralization a chemical change? There's a thought bubble given here. On opposite ends is a picture of Paheli and Bojo. Bojo is wondering... We learnt in chapter 1 that plants produce their food by a process called photosynthesis. Can we call photosynthesis a chemical change? Paheli said that even digestion is a chemical change. 6.3 Rusting of iron Let us get back to rusting. This is one change that affects iron articles and 
slowly destroys them. Since iron is used in making bridges, ships, cars, truck bodies and many other articles, the monetary loss due to rusting is huge. The process of rusting can be represented by the following equation. Iron, which is Fe, plus oxygen, which is O2 from the air, plus water, which is H2O, becomes rust, which is iron oxide or Fe2O3. For rusting, the presence of both oxygen and water or water vapour is essential. In fact, if the content of moisture in air is high, which means if it is more humid, rusting becomes faster. So how do we prevent rusting? Prevent iron articles from coming in contact with oxygen or water or both. One simple way is to apply a coat of paint or grease. In fact, these coats should be applied regularly to prevent rusting. Another way is to deposit a layer of a metal like chromium or zinc on iron. A protective shield. You must have heard of the ozone layer in our atmosphere. It protects us from the harmful ultraviolet radiation which come from the sun. Ozone absorbs this radiation and breaks down to oxygen. Oxygen is different from ozone. Can we call the breaking down of ozone a chemical change? If ultraviolet radiation were not absorbed by ozone, it would reach the Earth's surface and cause harm to us and other life forms. Ozone acts as a natural shield against this radiation. Page 64 There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. Oh, that is why my friend Rita is always complaining about iron articles rusting so fast. She lives near the coast. This process of depositing a layer of zinc on iron is called galvanization. The iron pipes we use in our homes to carry water are galvanized to prevent rusting. You know that ships are made of iron and a part of them remains underwater. On the part above water also, water drops keep clinging to the ship's outer surface. Moreover, the water of the sea contains many salts. The salt water makes the process of rust formation faster. Therefore, ships suffer a lot of damage from rusting in spite of being painted. So much so that a fraction of ship's iron has to be replaced every year. Can you imagine the monetary loss to the world? Stainless steel is made by mixing iron with carbon and metals like chromium, nickel and manganese. It does not rust. 6.4 Crystallization In class 6, you have learned that salt can be obtained by the evaporation of seawater. The salt obtained in this manner is not pure and the shape of its crystals cannot be seen clearly. However, large crystals of pure substances can be formed from their solutions. The process is called crystallization. It is an example of physical change. Activity 6.9 To be performed in the presence of the teacher. Caution. Use only dilute sulfuric acid. Be careful while boiling water. Take a cupful of water in a beaker and add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid. 
heat the water. When it starts boiling, add copper sulfate powder slowly while stirring continuously. You can observe this in figure 6.6. Continue adding copper sulfate powder till no more powder can be dissolved. Filter the solution. Allow it to cool. Do not disturb the solution when it is cooling. Look at the solution after some time. Can you see the crystals of copper sulphate? If not, wait for some more time. Figure 6.6 .6. Crystals of Copper Sulphate In this picture, we can observe a container filled with copper sulphate. On closer examination, we can also observe the crystals. Page 65 You have learned about physical and chemical changes. Try to identify changes that you observe around you as physical or chemical changes. Keywords Chemical change Chemical reaction Crystallization Galvanization Physical change Rusting what you have learnt. 1. Changes can be of two types, physical and chemical. 2. Physical changes are changes in the physical properties of substances. No new substances are formed in these changes. These changes may be reversible. 3. In chemical changes, New substances are produced. 4. Some substances can be obtained in pure state from their solutions by crystallization. Exercises 1. Classify the changes involved in the following processes as physical or chemical changes. A. Photosynthesis B. Dissolving sugar in water. C. Burning of coal. D. Melting of wax. E. Beating aluminium to make aluminium foil. F. Digestion of food. 2. State whether the following statements are true or false. In case a statement is false, write the corrected statement in your notebook. A. Cutting a log of wood into pieces is a chemical change. True or false? B. Formation of manure from leaves is a physical change. True or false? C. Iron pipes coated with zinc do not get rusted easily. True or false? D. Iron and rust are the same substances. True or false? E. Condensation of steam is not a chemical change. True or false? Page 66 3. Fill in the blanks in the following statements. A. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, it turns milky due to the formation of blank. B. The chemical name of baking soda is blank. C. Two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented are blank and blank. D. Changes in which only blank properties of a substance change are called physical changes. E. Changes in which new substances are formed are called blank changes. 4. When baking soda is mixed with lemon juice, bubbles are formed with the evolution of a gas. What type of change is it? 
explain. 5. When a candle burns, both physical and chemical changes take place. Identify these changes. Give another example of a familiar process in which the chemical and physical changes take place. 6. How would you show that setting of curd is a chemical change? 7. Explain why burning of wood and cutting it into small pieces are considered as two different types of changes. 8. Describe how crystals of copper sulphate are prepared. 9. Explain how painting of an iron gate prevents it from rusting. 10. Explain why rusting of iron objects is faster in coastal areas than in deserts. 11. The gas we use in the kitchen is called liquefied petroleum gas or LPG. In the cylinder, it exists as a liquid. When it comes out from the cylinder, it becomes a gas, which is change A. Then it burns, which is change B. The following statements pertain to these changes. Choose the correct one. 1. Process A is a chemical change. 2. Process B is a chemical change. 3. Both processes A and B are chemical changes. 4. None of these processes is a chemical change. 12. Anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas, which is change A. The biogas is then burnt as fuel, which is change B. The following statements pertain to these changes. Choose the correct one. 1. Process A is a chemical change. 2. Process B is a chemical change. 3. Both processes A and B are chemical changes. 4. None of these processes is a chemical change. Page 67 Extended Learning, Activities and Projects 1. Describe two changes that are harmful. Explain why you consider them harmful. How can you prevent them? 2. Take three glass bottles with wide mouths. Label them A, B and C. Fill about half of bottle A with ordinary tap water. Fill bottle B with water which has been boiled for several minutes to the same level as in A. In bottle C, take the same boiled water and of the same amount as in other bottles. In each bottle, put a few similar iron nails so that they are completely underwater. Add a teaspoonful of cooking oil to the water in bottle C so that it forms a film on its surface. Put the bottles away for a few days. Take out nails from each bottle and observe them. Explain your observations. 3. Prepare crystals of alum. 4. Collect information about the types of fuels used for cooking in your area. Discuss with your teachers or parents or others which fuels are less polluting and why. Did you know? Near the Qutub Minar in Delhi stands an iron pillar. You can observe this in figure 6.7. This iron pillar is more than 7 meters high. It weighs more than 6,000 kg. It was built more than 
sixteen hundred years ago. After such a long period, it has not rusted. For its quality of rust resistance, it has been examined by scientists from all parts of the world. It tells something about the advances India had made in metal technology as back as sixteen hundred years ago. Figure six point seven. Iron pillar. The chapter six of total eighteen chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja, producer Vandana Arimardan, presented by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.